what's good? What's good? What's good, man? Let me see something. What's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? Hello, hello. That's a little bit more brighter. All right. What to do? How many people I got on here? Okay. First off, as y'all can see, I'm driving again. The queen didn't tapped out on the motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? All of a sudden, all the Harley stores closed. And she can't drive no more. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All of a sudden, now all the Harley stores done closed. Uh, I'm gonna hit it. Come on, baby. Yeah, that bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? A five on here. All right, we getting back up, man. My connection week. I'm out here in Alabama, somewhere in the middle of nowhere on 65. So y'all gonna have to work with me. But anyway, you got a headache, little sugar? I do. You do. <laughs> You sure don't look like you got a headache in that motherfucker. I do. He won't let me lay back. I can't have Oh, no. Ain't no sleeping. Ain't no motherfucking sleeping. I do. I, ain't, I, got a I don't give a damn. Right, nigga, right, listen. Your ass slept the whole way up. I mean, snored your ass off. Then you can't even drive us home. And then you think you finna have me drive while I haven't had no sleep. And then you think you finna. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not, it's not going down like that, little lady. Little lady. Anyway, so I'm, I'm back in the driver. I'm in the driver's seat. Gonna try to take us on in. I, there ain't no try. I'm gonna get us on in. You don't have okay. two more hours to go. Nigga, I got more than two. I got 300 miles. You got less than 300. Yeah, miles. less than 300 now because I'm driving. Yeah. You just started driving 20 minutes ago. There ain't no. Listen. 20 minutes ago. It I don't take no 15 to hours eight. to get to no Houston, Texas. I got us there in less than eight and a half, nine hours. Because you was doing 110. I have CDLs. I want to keep my drive license. <laughs> you got CDLs. Yeah, you ain't know that. Nigga, I would put you behind a truck, a school bus. I wish you would try to get behind something with more than, with more than four wheels. <laughs> well, I do. Nigga, your, your CDLs must have got grandfathered in or something. No, <laughs> sir. I'm a motor coach operator. I can drive whatever, 18 wheelers. Oh, you can, huh? Yeah. You just can't drive them for a minute or two. You can't drive them that long, then, huh? That was back in the day. Now, if I need to, don't get it fucked up. Oh, I'm fine. It's, it's fucked up right now because you need to be driving right now. You need to be driving right now. Facebook Live and drive. Yeah, you need to be driving right now. Talking about don't get it fucked up like you done done something. Two twenty-six miles. To yeah, go from home. I'm just saying. All of a sudden, the Harley Davidson store is closed, and you got a goddamn headache. Oh, that's funny to you, huh? Yeah. I can't laugh my right hair. Are you? Oh, you don't know? Boy, would I tell you so fuck? Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at me. Look, look at me. Oh, my hair hurt. You don't knock it off? Your hair hurt? Yeah, you got them lights on. Turn the lights off. Yeah, you better be glad this Harley Davidson store being closed. You see it? Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Full of shit for real. But anyway, that ain't why I got on here when you talk to you about that shit, man. Uh, uh, you need a driver, nephew? Hey, man, what I'm driving, man? What the pay like? Where we going? All that no good shit. Cause I gotta watch you soul, brother niggas, man. You subject to have a, you know what I'm saying, anything in the trunk on the motherfucker, man. I just need to know what the risk is. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like the, what they call it, the professional old boy that drive. I ain't gonna ask no questions. Just make sure the buddy right. You know what I'm saying? Jojo, what up with it, man? Everybody, what up? Anyway, let me tell y'all this, man. The reason why, the reason why, man, you don't move, move your phone out the way so I can set this down. The reason why I'm on here, man, is because I just watched a video about the damn elections. People are voting, and they say that the election boxes are jumping, or, or jumping, or, or whatever. Hillary to Donald. Yeah, they say you vote for Hillary, and the motherfucker jumped to Donald. I'm gonna say this, man. How in the fuck can we live in a country as technological, as technology savvy as the United States of America? And we got a problem with the fucking voting booths. Nigga, we got cell phones that can cook your food, look in the refrigerator when you ain't at home, tell you if you need milk, you know what I'm saying, and all that kind of shit. Fucking refrigerators. I, don't worry about what Listen, you need to, yeah. You, oh, you got a headache I'm talking to now? Yeah. Maybe you don't knock it the fuck off. Yeah, anyway. 
So they we got can, all this. I'm right here. You're my well, I'm, but I'm talking to the people though. Well, I they can hear you. You, you don't they, know why they, are you in? Listen, you. man. Interrupt me one more gun down, down time, like two and I'm gonna pull this, your. This uh, we're gonna pull this car over, and I'm gonna set your ass on the sidewalk with these deer. Oh, you have to get that wave app. That yeah, tell, yeah. There. I didn't talk Queen about the wave app, man. They're telling you deer's on the side of the road. Oh, all yeah, I say animal upside on the right. Side anyway, of the road. like I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by a non CDL driver. Yeah. What you got? A license. And I got a motorcycle license at okay. that. That's the only like I don't even have a car who license. Who is that keep calling you? I don't know who that is. That's uh Smiley. That's Smiley hey, right there. Smiley. Like, back in a minute. I don't even have a regular license. I got a motorcycle license. You feel what I'm saying? My shit is just an M class. That's all I got is M's. But anyway, so stay in like your I was saying, so you say what now? Cause I can show pull over and let the CDL driver get back behind the wheel. I have a headache. Oh huh? So then you need to be the fuck quiet then. That's what you well, need to be. Well, if you be a little bit more quieter, and I can be quiet. If I be a little bit more quieter, then you can be quiet. Yes. Look here, man. That ain't how it works, man. Haven't somebody ever told you don't fuck with your driver? No. A ain't nobody ever taught you that? No. Well, I'm teaching you that today. Well, I want your classroom boys like a little bit. Ain't no class. This is my... Listen, man, you keep interrupting me from my message, man. Okay, go ahead. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. Okay. My connection is weak. All I'm saying is this. How in the fuck do we live in a country as technology-rich, savvy, and whatever as, as the United States, but you telling me we can't even get the fucking voting booths right? You can't even go in there and vote for Hillary and get Hillary? Man, this is the most outrageous and outlandish shit in the entire world. I can imagine, I truly, truly, truly can imagine what the fuck is going on with other countries saying, man, what the fuck is wrong with the United States? All of us take for granted, man, this so-called freedom that we have. If y'all, if you guys are not seeing the true signs of this being the end of the world, you feel what I'm saying? then I don't know what else to tell y'all. We at a point to where as a fucking presidential election cannot even be handled properly on the level that's supposed to be handled at. You telling me that when I vote, I got to go in there and double and triple check that the box that I picked is the correct box? Man, that is the, that, that's, that's fucking crazy to me. That is, that, that, that's crazy. I mean, I don't even understand that shit. And then you say my vote count or our votes matter. Man, let me tell y'all something. I hear you when you say vote because you got the right to vote. Trust me, I hear you. But if I can go in the voting booth and you can change who I voted for, and it's no, I mean, they acting so nonchalant. Oh, just watch it. You, if it happens, just let us know. Man, come on, man. This is fucking America. Like I just said, you can take your cell phone today and look in your refrigerator and see if I got milk, eggs, and all that. I don't even have to call Queen. I just hit the phone, look in the refrigerator, and they tell us if we got milk, eggs, cheese, whatever the fuck we got and don't got. Hey, refrigerator, do I got enough milk? Oh, you got about half a gallon on shelf number two. But you telling me I can't even vote for the president that I want to vote for without having to check the ballot? Man, all glory be to God. And again, never questioning who you are or your omnipresence and all that. It is, it's, man, it, it, it is what it is, man. We, this shit, we going to the dogs, man. We going straight to the bottom of the pit. We going straight to the dogs. Because that is the craziest shit in the world, man. That is beyond fucking crazy. Then I'm watching the news where the airlines done banned the Galaxy Note 7, the Note 7. Nigga, and if you call right now to book a ticket, they've added that to, to, the, uh, to, the, to the airline message. That if you bring a Galaxy Note 7, into the airport trying to get on a plane and you are found with this phone that it's a $500 fine, 500 and punishable by prison and all kind of shit. Man, let me tell y'all something. Anytime a phone 
can bring down a plane and you niggas is worried about terrorists? You niggas is what? Let me tell y'all something, man. You niggas better get y'all bread up and get your ammunition up. Because that's the only thing that's going to matter in a minute, man. Paper dollars, U.S. currency, not that shit in the bank. You already saw another issue we had with Wells Fargo been stealing, what they been stealing? Money from niggas for the last six, seven years? About 30 some employees got away with a billion some dollars? Huh? Come on, man. You niggas better wake up. Y'all better start understanding what the fuck is going on. You better start getting back to putting that shit up under the mattress. I promise you that. Because in a minute, if you ain't got no cash in your hand, all that old direct deposit shit and all that other shit ain't finna mean nothing. You understand me? I'm telling y'all, man. I'm, it's a story. It's, a, it's an old famous story, man. I'm, and I'm gonna use this story. And this story applies right now to the daytime. It's a, it's, it was perceived as a joke. There was a farmer who believed in God. And a message, uh, a vision came to him while he was sleeping, a dream, and told him, hey, the world is finna end, it's finna be flood, wait on me, and I'ma save you. Okay? So, within the next couple of days, here come the flood, the world is ending, here come a flood. The first homeboy come by on the boat and say, hey man, come on man, grab what you can, get in the boat with me. He say, no, I'm good, I'ma wait on the Lord. So the homeboy said, you sure? He said, yeah, I'm sitting here waiting on the Lord. So the homeboy said, all right, I'm out. The second homeboy come by, he in whatever it is, another watercraft vehicle or some other shit. He's still on this little island or still on this little his property. His homeboy said, hey, man, come on, man. You better get in with me, man. We out of here. We need to get to high ground or whatever. He said, no, the Lord told me to wait on the Lord. I'm going to be patient and diligent and do what the Lord told me to do. The Lord said he's going he gonna to get me. He got me. So the... Uh, so finally, the water then rose, he on top of the roof of the house, and everything is looking all bad, the whole land is flooded. His partner come through in a helicopter. Yeah, I said it, helicopter. His partner come through in a helicopter and say, hey man, he throw the rope down, hey man, grab the rope, man, I got you, man. You feel what I'm saying? I got you, man, come on, man, just hold on to the rope, I'm gonna get you to dry land and some freedom. He tell his partner, no, man, no, man, I'm good, man. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to wait on the Lord, man. I'm going to stand fast in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? My God is a mighty God and all that. He got to preach it and all of that type of stuff. So, here it is. The water that rose. He had nowhere else to go, and he ended up drowning. Okay? Now, he drowned or whatever. His faith was strong. He get to heaven. Now he get to see God face to face. He say, Lord, Lord, I'm here, man. <coughs> you told me if I stand fast in your word and believe in you and hold on to you the whole nine yards that you don't save me. You feel what I'm saying? I believe in you, Lord, and, and I'm here now in front of you. Uh, what happened? You know what the Lord told him? The Lord said, dummy, I sent three different niggas to you three different times to come save your monkey ass, and you didn't even come. I, I, three different times I sent people to save you, and you didn't even get up. So what you want me to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go on in nigga, with the rest of them niggas, man. You feel what I'm saying? Basically, I said that to say this, man. And, and I was a joke, and I never play with the Lord. I love the Lord truly. But I'm just trying to give it to you the way you need to understand it. Basically, is this. Is that there is a responsibility that we have to ourselves first. Okay? Not first, but in... In following whoever it is you're following, Lord Allah, whatever, whatever religion you is, there is a responsibility that you have to yourself to have some type of brain, some type of common sense, okay? And in having that, you add that, what the belief that you have gives you that mind to know what is and what ain't, okay? I'm not telling you that God ain't real. I'm not telling you that to do not believe in God because he got us. He gonna save us. All I'm telling you is to pay attention to the surroundings and to everything that's going on around us every day from police acting up to killing people to, to, to them being scared, not knowing how to deal with us. Like all of a sudden, we savages now. Like all of a sudden, Rooster came out and now they scared of black folks because all of us are just, you know, Mandigo warriors and we out to destroy their culture and this nigga throwing cigarettes and shit all out the damn 
Keep on, motherfucker. I'm trying to tell you something. Anyway, um, you know, all of a sudden now, the culture has scared of blacks. You feel what I'm saying? All of a sudden now, we, you know, when we get pulled over now, you got to be extra special nice and extra special careful and all this and all that. Man, these ain't nothing but signs of the times, man. I'm telling y'all right now. Signs of the times. We don't have that much time left, man. Whatever time you got left, you better start loving yourself more. You better start paying more attention to your surroundings. You better start respecting the things that that is. Whatever your situation is, if you on this Facebook right now watching me, you ain't got no situation. You ain't got nothing but life. You ain't, you ain't doing nothing but living life. Because if I had a situation, if I was in a situation, Facebook would not even be an option for me at all. You feel me? So. All I'm telling you people is I love y'all to death. Truly, I do. I love all my people. From the ones I make fun of to the ones that make fun of me. To all of that. But we have to start getting this thing together, man, for every time we got left. The youth are going crazy. I say y'all saw the BET Awards last, what, last month. That shit was hilarious. That shit was totally ridiculous. I didn't understand nothing that was being said. And then, I'm not, a, I'm not... I'm not homophobic or nothing like that. But then you got the dyke broad on on there with her dyke broad girlfriend. You feel what I'm saying? And they on there talking about, ooh! And everybody rocking to that shit. Nigga, I... Tiffany! That's the only song, that's the only word that I knew to the whole... And I didn't even know that was a damn girl until I saw the goddamn BT Awards. Ooh! You gotta have to stand there. We gotta have to there. Hey, listen, man. Ooh. Listen. Y'all better understand what the fuck going on, man. I'm trying to tell y'all some real shit. Y'all better start understanding what the fuck is going on, man. The world is almost over with, man. I'm going to grab my piece of the pie and get on the fuck out of the way, man. I'm going to ride my motorcycle as long as I can, man, until God see fit for it not to be. But it's a whole lot of shit going on in the news, man. Donald Trump, the fact, listen. The fact that this nigga can even say, I want to be the president of the United States. This nigga got bankruptcy in his background. This nigga got fraud, all kind of shit in his background. But this nigga got the audacity to be a viable candidate for the president of the United States. Nigga, we in trouble, man. He got that money. So, okay, what you just said, he got that money? He got that money. So you better get your money, because that's the only thing that's going to matter coming up is the monies. That's the only thing that's going to matter coming up is the monies. I promise you. What wave got coming up? It's going to be somebody in the middle of the saying, you know, it has a, it's a road hazard somewhere up here or somewhere. Anyway, that is the only thing that's going to matter is the monies. I promise you. Everything else, cash, cream, get the money. That's the only thing that's going to matter. Them cash in your hand, in your pocket, under your mattress, cause all that shit in the bank, they gon' they gonna snatch all that shit. Period. Y'all better start understanding, man. It's gonna be the rich versus the poor. That's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be the haves and the have-nots. You do all you gotta do is watch. Just follow the sign. Quit watching BET and the Cartoon Network, nigga. Start watching CNN. Hell, even start watching Oprah. Oprah trying to teach you some shit. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's finna be the haves and the have-nots. Is that Shaq bought the Krispy Kreme on Ponce Leon? Shaq bought the Krispy Kreme on Ponce Leon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he a big donut-eating motherfucker. Give me some of my comments. You on that bullshit. What, what the people say? Oh, man? the people say. Oh, man, you just told me to be this quiet. Make your mind up. I'm pussy grabbing. Talking about Donald Trump. Yeah, go on and watch the game, Chris. Go on and watch the motherfuckers that's already having their way. You feel what I'm saying? Because you better, listen, you better stop watching the game and invest in the game. You better invest in some uniforms or, or something. You better get your bread up. Okay, sit there and keep wasting time watching that shit if you want to. That's right. You feel what I'm like saying? That now. It's like that now. I'm telling y'all some real shit, man. Anyway, you heard my man say it's time the game is on and some other shit going on. My connection getting weak. I love y'all. Stay tuned. I'll hit y'all when we get in the house. Queen on, fell out on me since all the Harley stores done, done closed up. She done got a headache and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I, tell, I don't even know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you got a headache. He's talking really 
Don't worry about it. Soon, soon we get home, I'm gonna put you up against that headboard. You're gonna see how I, I yeah. Just make sure I can bounce up off that motherfucker. You're gonna really have it. Yeah. Not tonight. Yeah, oh, nigga, ain't you no, know, you got me fucked. Ain't no, not tonight. You just said the police right there. I ain't even get the fucking message that the police right there. No, but they should have told me the police was right there. It just got the simple, man. Anyway. Oh, I got the damn volume, man. I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's here what a TI is. I love y'all. Be good. Get your bread up. Love, respect, loyalty. It's going down, man. Thursday topic, man. Let y'all let me know what we want to talk about. We want to talk about uh, conflict resolution. Look at this nigga right here. Look, 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 look. Conflict re resolution within your motorcycle club. How to keep from killing one of your club brothers or, or your husband. Nigga, I ain't worried about you killing me. Understand that at all. You even dream about killing me, you better wake up and slap your goddamn self. You feel what I'm saying? For even thinking about some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. You you even dream about killing me, you better wake up and slap yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that part right there. Yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you need to put yourself in timeout for even saying some shit like that. Yeah. Anyway, conflict resolution or uh, MCing and drunk, MCing, MCing and be while being drunk. Uh, we're gonna call it uh, MCing while uh, drinking while driving. So if it's drinking while driving, we're gonna call it drinking while MCing. Yeah, or MC yeah, drunk, being MC drunk. So anyway, there it is, there, man. The new shirts um, should be ready tomorrow. From one, I got larges all the way to five X. Um, I'm trying to get home now to get to them, or maybe not tomorrow morning. So uh, check the website. I'll do another commercial about the shirts. These are the same shirts I got on that actually glow in the dark, black and glow in the dark. Matter of fact, let me see if I can turn these lights off and see if it'll glow in the dark, if you can see it. No, you can't see it? They can't see it. I ain't got enough light on it. Let me get a... Matter of fact, give me a phone. Give me a phone on that. Turn the flashlight on your phone. I'm going to show y'all that shirts glowing dark man this shit is awesome over some new shit fho constantly trying to bring some new shit turn the flashlight on, on the phone. you do got at the top scroll down to the top man take it off of there you have to scroll over you got a flashlight man. man it's right there good lord have mercy man oh my goodness anyway hold on not yet let me let me charge it up Gotta put some light on it and charge it up. It ain't, ain't been in no light, not enough light. Anyway, like I said, the new glow in the dark shirts. Hey, I found my flashlight button. What you mean you find? You didn't know you had no flashlight? No, I thought it had been downloaded. No, this this one right here, the shit. Let me see, it should be enough right now. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, y'all see it. You can see a little bit right there. Oh, it's glowing dark. Yeah. FHO glow in the dark shirts, they hot, trust me. Can you see it? Yeah, y'all can see it. Turn the light off, yeah, there, yeah, there it is there. So these are the new shirts, man. I got them coming in black, all sizes. Make sure you grab you one. You feel me? And uh, let's get it, man. But that was it, man. I just wanted to get that off my chest, man. Yeah, I can rest. United States is showing some real bullshit, man. There's some for real shit going on, man. Y'all better pay attention. Get your bread up. Have you some cash at home? Oh, Get your ammunition up. We got them zombies walking around here. That clown shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Some food. Over there. You want some food? I smell some food. You smell some food. I thought you had a headache. I do. You got a headache, but you can smell some food. Huh? Oh, you know I got a canine nose now. You got you a canine nose. nose. Yeah, you knock some of them. Yeah. Yeah, what well, you mean to get your you canine nose, huh? Get that, yeah. What that mouth do though later on? That's what I'm talking about. Nothing. You got me fucked up. You got yourself fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll see what that mouth see that, You got a canine nose? Yeah, let's see what that, that fish mouth do. Nothing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, man. Close. Yeah. Close my yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be full. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Anyway, man. There it is there. Sunshine, what happened to you? I didn't get to see you. I came all the way to fucking Texas and you ain't show up. You feel what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying? Felicia, you say I agree with uh, everything you saying, Big Sale. Uh, anyway. Love y'all man. Let me get my ass.
back to what I was doing, trying to get us home since Queen installed out. Like I said, all the Hardy stores closed. Now she got a headache. Look, look. <laughs> well, hey, it can't get no better than this, man. Comedy at its motherfucking finest, man. I have a headache. On that note, I'm gone, man.